What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. This does not look like a BlackBerry, yet it now has one of BlackBerry's best features for free, and that is BBM. Let me give you a hands-on tour of BBM for Android and iOS. All right, so BBM is a free application. You can download it from the Google Play or the App Store. I'm showing it here on Android. Go ahead and download and install. One thing to notice though, you're gonna get that BBM icon that is always gonna show up in your app drawer uh, if you use Android. You cannot get rid of it as long as the app is open, which is really annoying. Uh, so there is the icon. We'll go ahead and open it up. And it looks like a very familiar layout uh, to what we saw on BB10 devices. Now you've got a grid of icons across the bottom, chats, contacts, groups and then settings. Uh, so I'll give a quick rundown of what a chat looks like. I've got Brandon Russell here uh, sitting in the office. I'll go ahead and send him a BBM. I will say hi. Uh, you notice that you can send your contact information. You can attach a file. But all you can attach are pictures, galleries, or voice notes. You can't share screens or anything quite yet, uh, or even video, but hopefully that will be coming very soon. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit send, and it goes off. When you get that D next to it, you know it's delivered. Uh, and it'll change to an R, like it just did, letting us know that Brandon has received it. Uh, presumably, he will reply. There we go. Hi, handsome. Uh, but you don't get any sort of indication uh, that he's typing, but he'll see on his screen uh, the D icon turn to R. You've got a ton of smiley faces to choose from. So if you're big into emoji and stuff, uh, you're going to be quite uh, the happy person. If you slide on over, you can see your contact groups, if there are any updates, if someone changed a picture or changed a location, uh, or any invites. We scroll on over there. Uh, speaking of invites, if we go into settings here, I'll show you how that works. Let me go ahead and pull this off to the side for just a quick second. Uh, we come back in, you get settings, invite to BBM, start multi-person chat. Uh, invite is pretty familiar to anybody who's used BBM. You do it by a barcode scan. This is pin-based. Uh, right now, you download the application, ask you to put in your email address, and then log into your BlackBerry World account. Uh, but this is still pin-based. You get a brand new pin uh, if you don't already have one. Uh, and it is one account per device, so if you can't have the same BBM on several uh, different phones, you gotta sort of log out and then re-log in again. Go ahead and cancel, and we'll jump into settings here, and I'll show you again what those look like. Push it off to the side. Uh, we'll come right back in. You get a ton of options here uh, to customize what you want, save chat history, uh, show action bar, keyboard, contacts, layout, uh, and all kinds of other stuff here, edit block, contacts, uh, and the rest of that. We'll go back. And other than that, it's a pretty standard uh, chat application. You have to invite your friends. They have to accept the invitation and come in. If you use BBM uh, for work or on a previous device, you're going to love this. Uh, you can send from Android to iOS or vice versa or to any BlackBerry device, obviously. It's now cross-platform. It seems to work very well. Uh, so it's been a really quick overview of BBM for not BlackBerry. What's up, everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.